very specifically, and we knew that people were going to react against Nora, but we, we knew that we were going to pull her out of it also and that she was doing it for a reason. But that is, for example, why we wanted to show them getting along in the very beginning. So in, in that sense, sort of, but it's all sort of been on purpose. I mean, in terms of like, have I been looking back at episodes saying, oh, how did this happen? I got to dig my way out of this. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think that's happened. <laughs> If it did happen, I would hope that you would react exactly how you <laughs> Just like that. Oh, God, how am I going to get out of this pickle? Oh, this is a predicament. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so Aiden's wife comes back. And uh, I think we can reveal that it is, in fact, her. We can't say what that means, or, or you know how it's her, but it is her. It'd be great if it wasn't. Maybe you're like, hey, you look so familiar. Yeah, we don't know each other, and that's just the scene. And you're like, well, there it is. We yep. got it. We did it. <laughs> so we paid it off. Just a patch. <laughs> there was one time he saw a, a girl that reminded him of his wife. That's it. That's yeah. It's like vertigo. He starts dressing her. Oh, put these pants on. It couldn't mean anything to you. Um, <laughs> For those that like Hitchcock, anyway. Um, we talked about doing it that way. We did. We did, we did talk, talk about, about that. I think you shot a version of it. We do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think it's my wife. I will say for real, because it is it is her, we don't know how it is her, but at the end of season three, we did not know. Yeah. We, we, we were leaving ourselves an opening of we're going to do something with this character, but we did not know exactly for sure. And I remember that when Stefan was shooting that last scene with her getting out of the car, it's like, don't look too innocent. Don't look too scary. Yeah. Don't. yeah. Are you sad? Maybe you're sad. I don't know. Now action. You know. Thinking about something. something. Very specifically a thing yeah. that means something to you. To you. Yeah. Um, they also didn't know if Josh was going to ever come back from this. From that guy right there. They had no well, idea. They were like, do we want Sammy back? I don't know. This is our out. This is our out. This guys. is our we chance. This is our chance. But then Sammy showed up at the visual effects place and started working with yeah, the wolf. Yeah, really started working with the wolf. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. we found out we couldn't get rid of him. No. Uh, so we were like, may as well have him show up. Yeah. But no, we did think at one point maybe she was going to be descended, maybe this and that, and you know, but it's his wife. And if you want to talk about maybe some of the other... Uh, characters that reappear this season? Um, yes, well, obviously we see uh, Donna, as you see in, in those first scenes, um, which I love because you're seeing them in a different dynamic. So it's definitely a different relationship with Sally and Donna this year. Um, we do see Bishop. How could we not? Um, in some really fun ways. Speaking of flashbacks, I was talking with one of the writers last week about how we do wish that we had had a vaudeville scene uh, with Aiden and Bishop. That's like my one regret, that we didn't have that. Um, we come close. 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 Um, we see Henry uh, in uh, a very interesting way. Um, we see Rebecca. We see, who else do we see? Guys? Do we want to say all of them? We see I mean, Emily, we see... Oh, well, yeah, do we want to give away... No. No. I know. No, she no. saw it. She <laughs> saw it. No. No. Oh, really? Okay. Sure. Right. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> we, see, we see a lot of different people. I mean, we really... I, I, I'd say we're doing... I'd say we're doing all of our all the favorite things that we that we want to do this year. We're really these are a few of our favorite things. Oh, Robbie, we see Robbie. We see Ray. Oh yeah, Ray, we see Ray. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah, Ray, yeah. Robbie. Ray, Robbie, all the R's. We eventually see Josh. We eventually <laughs> eventually see Josh for an episode. <laughs> for an episode. For an episode. Yeah. Just a couple great scenes. Which is the one we're shooting right now. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm here. Spoiler, Spoiler alert. Uh, so to follow up on Megan's scene, um, <laughs> musical episodes seem to be the rage for genre shows now. Are you guys planning on doing a musical? Please God, no. Season finale is a musical. Yeah. 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 These, these guys haven't seen the script for the finale yet. I think you're going to like it. I'm still working on the score a little bit. I want to I make sure that I really hit everyone in their range. Yeah. <laughs> no. Not the right show for that, I don't think. What's that like to uh, work with 
Um, it's a lot like working with myself. Um, <laughs> you think you're pretty funny, huh? You think you're pretty, yeah, that cute. was funny. Oh, cute, that was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How am I going to get out of this mouth? Um, <laughs> well, you know what? To be perfectly honest, it's a little awkward. Because um, I used to date, you know, it's a weird thing. But we have, like, like clearly decided. brother and sister chemistry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she, he was just too much like a brother to her. Yeah. yeah ultimately. Um, I don't, my brother and I have always been really, really close, and uh, you would think that, that doing something like this would, would be really easy. Uh, that's what I thought until we actually did it. It's actually not even the, it's our f fourth time working together and our second time playing brother and sister, but not to this capacity. Um, and I actually found it a little strange because it, it is very close to home, the stuff we're dealing with, and there is something that we shot uh, just recently, and when I saw it, I, I couldn't even, I could barely watch it. It's just... It's a very strange thing because it's like we are so familiar with each other, but then, you know, these are different people and they have different histories, but it, it all gets a little confusing. Um, so, so it's weird. But, but great, right? <laughs> sure. Oh, you, Jesse's gonna read the transcript of this. He's like, hey. Jesse's like, tomorrow it's just like transcript. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jesse, 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 Jesse. Oh, oh no. shit. <laughs> she doesn't like you anymore. <laughs> it is obviously great working with him. Um, and I, I personally really enjoy it. Yeah. I love the guy. He's great. He's, he's awesome he's and really he's talented and he cares so much. Yeah. These are things that Megan won't tell you, but I'll tell you about him. <laughs> he's really kind of everything you wish Megan was. You yeah, know right. Just, yeah, primarily a dude. A dude. <laughs> <laughs> One, uh, a dude. First, uh, <laughs> No, but he's been he's been gracious and and he brings it and he's rehearsed and he's loose and he's just everything that you want him to be. He also looks a lot like Megan, so it fits. <laughs> Thanks, Kristen. I I enjoyed it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you think you're pretty funny, huh? Okay, okay. You, you think, think you're pretty funny. funny. It's gonna be a long day for you, Rap. I know. <laughs> A question for Megan. Uh, she's uh, Sally's always relied on her friends. So how's she dealing with being alone right now? Um, well, I, I think it's pretty difficult. But but uh, as we've seen this character grow, and now uh, in the fourth season, having been through so much, I think Sally realizes that being alone is a huge part of her reality. Um, and as much as as she grows and changes, so do the other characters as well. And and we become. Uh, in a sense, a little more solitary because we're dealing with, with crazy things personally. So I think that now in season four, she is the most equipped to be alone that she's ever been. Um, and I, I think she's, she's much stronger as a person than she used to be, so is able to deal with it better. And she's definitely able to deal with it. Um, it's, it's definitely a strong, the strongest we've ever seen Sally. There's something we do in, in this season that, where we can make it entirely explicit how much these characters have grown and changed, and that's all I'm going to say. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, yeah. Good question. Actually, what are you doing tonight, Sam? So now? lovely. No, no. But for, uh, uh, well, uh, I'm probably gonna go home and see my family. Uh, <laughs> What's your address? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I, honestly though, it was. Um, it was kind of lovely. Something just turned on. <laughs> that, was so, that was so pleasant. Sorry. The spa. <laughs> oh my God! You can't figure out how to turn it on. This is a train wreck for you. I don't know that I've ever heard a ring. To, you know, you're sitting there and. Ooh -hoo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Beatles. No, that's true. Uh, it's all right, man. I don't care. Uh, I uh, I had a little time off in the first uh, first block, uh, and it was um, and it was lovely because I I got to kind of acclimate. You have two little kids, and and they uh, they could come everywhere with me, and uh, so I got to acclimate them. It's always a process, you know, moving them place to place to place. We're so nomadic. Uh, so it was actually a gift. Thank you. Um, it was all a plan, uh, but no. And also, to be honest, it was it, it was it was it needed to be played out. I couldn't just come right back, you know. That would have been such a cop out. So they needed to figure out a way to do uh, 
uh, and, and I think that they, uh, you know, obviously I'm here, you guys know that I do come back in some form. Um, do you know? Do I really, though? Is it, is it you? This is just a, I'm just, yeah, yeah, no. They flew me in from L.A. Is it you uh, or is it Aiden's wife? Is it Aiden's wife? <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Rose, who's Anna? Will be playing Play by, by Sam Huntington. Um, and uh, and so yeah, but they did a beautiful job uh, figuring out how exactly I come back and and kind of the uh, repercussions of what you know, like w when I do come back, what happens to me and what happens to us and what happens to us. Um, and uh, so yeah, I thought I thought I thought it was I thought it was really well done. I I can't imagine having it any other way, frankly. Yeah, remember, um, remember the Comic Con discussion? You have to treat, you have to kiss up to the writer. Yeah, no, no, no. Anna and I have been. Discussion. I, I don't remember that discussion, but <laughs> I assume that it happened. I was probably really high. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I suck up to you big time. You. Oh no, I do. Oh God, you don't know that at this point. No, um, no. Actually, we're really lucky. Anna's like one of us. Anna does low snaps better than anyone. It's true. She's Anna's the low snaps. Snapper She's right the lowest snap I've ever, ever seen. Um, that won't make any sense to any of you. I apologize. It will soon. It will soon. What's low snaps, Anna? I missed this night, and it's never. Yeah. It's, it's it's been haunting me ever since. We had a night in Montreal last year with Anna. She fell in love with a Portuguese homeless man. Oh. Yeah. And uh, they, they danced, danced on the, the street. Sidewalk. Danced, he danced on. The, uh, what was the dance? The, <laughs> the pasta <laughs> dumpling. Pasta dumpling. No, pasta dumpling. That's right. Yeah. And Anna snapped lower than. Than I've ever seen, and maybe we can have a like demonstration a jet. of it. Was a jet or a shark? Well, it was a jet and a shark because we just had an altercation with the CEO of a major company. Uh, and I'm not kidding you. Yeah, we yeah, were yeah, going to yeah. stay for the rumble. That's how we it were going to stay for the rumble, there and that's why we're doing low snaps. Because they had a crew. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. 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 Be cool, <laughs> cats. We rumble. <laughs> uh, I was so I'm so disappointed I missed this night. I can't believe I did. Never do anyway, that. I know I can never get, so get that pick. Go, Anna. Anna. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh. When you're a jet, yes. you're a jet all the way yes. from your first yes. cigarette yes. till your last dying yes. day. When you're a jet, let them oh. do with the. <laughs> Just back in a row. So glad yeah. we committed to the. Did everyone get a good look at it? Yeah. Okay, so now episode one, there will be a moment that will click into yep. that. We bring in high snaps in episode five, yeah. right? Yeah. Remember? No? You Come should on. see it. It's really good. It's good. Come on, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. I do remember the yeah. Bring in high snaps. Anyway. <laughs> uh, what did you guys, did you guys have fun on the uh, set tour? I mean, what are you oh, supposed yeah. to all answer at once? I don't even know why I'm asking you that. Was it good? Did you like it? Was it good? Yeah. I saw all of your tweets with my dead body. Yeah. Did it? Let's see. Yeah. Sam did an interesting thing to my uh, plaster casted face yesterday. Uh, or what do you I mean? guess it was the day before yesterday. What did I do? Before that. Oh, God. It, well, I mean, you guys can imagine it's table height, and there's my chin <laughs> right there. Since Whitworth had a field day with that. He's well, been since something you've been dreaming about. Your chin me. looked cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the perfect pillow. <laughs> I know it's kind of hard to ask this in front of Anna, but do you ha each have a favorite episode this season? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I've got two. Me too. I've got two. Well, for, for, I, I like the first two episodes tremendously. Uh, and then um, there's one that we just shot. Uh, can I say my favorite episodes? Can I do that? Episode 6 and episode 10, I think, are oh, killer. We maybe 10. Yet, we haven't gonna shot it yet. It's going to be really, really good. good. My favorites are the ones we're read, shooting right we now. Read, uh, 11, Eight or nine. 12, 13. Yeah. Eight or nine. Eight or nine. There's nine. Nine. I, I, it's hard to pick. Honestly, I loved one. I love. I loved. Yeah, eight and nine are very special. I really like nine, even though yeah, I'm not going to say anything else. Um, yeah, no, it's it's hard to pick. Honestly, there's really really strong episodes this season. Mark, what about you? You got a favorite up? <laughs> my mic's not. Oh, my mic's working. Yeah. <laughs> You thought you could uh, slip by. They're all my favorites. Oh, God. <laughs> I actually, I love the, I love the first one. Mm. I think there's something really special about the way. I love the, the dynamic with Donna mm. yeah. and Sally. I think, um, what was that like working with Amy? Great, great sec. Yeah, nice, uh, nice diversion. I, um, <laughs> I think I got this chair for nothing. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, it's fun. I love working with Amy. Uh, first and foremost, she's 
a great person Ugh. and so much fun to be Ugh. around and one of the most talented actresses I've ever worked with and so it's been such a, an honor to be able to work with her and learn from her and she's just a good time she's, she's just so a fun much fun person to be around and uh, she wants to be here yeah. she's she she we all get along so well and I just love the woman to death. Yeah. We she, were, she seems to have a lot of fun when she's here, too. Yeah. Well, you know, and that's the, the coolest thing about her is the moment she arrived on the set. Um, one, of the, one of the things that we observe that is challenging about this show is that it walks this razor's edge between comedy and drama. And, uh, and I don't, I, you know, a lot of shows, it would it'd be easier to say, no, nah, we're going to be on the comedy side, so we're going to make it bigger and campier. Or oh, we're on the drama side with occasional moments of humor. And we try to really walk that line, and uh, and we have, as we have learned, you know, it's difficult, and, and also not you don't always get guest stars that know how to do that. And Amy just arrived and knew exactly how to do yeah, right. just that to Pitch play perfect. her as a person, just a person. But at the same time, she's quite entertaining and funny and lively to watch. That's a lot of that's in the writing too. But yeah. but because you guys wrote some awesome stuff for her, um, so not all. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I think I think no, she, she the same it. thing. I think Mark yeah. 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 and Amy definitely. Yep, absolutely. Yes. Well, that was the thing about Donna. It was sort of the bishop model because we've definitely had bigger sort of villains who were that way because they had to be that way. But the, I think we're more comfortable and happy in that zone where they are just people who happen to have these other agendas, but that they are coming from a place of. A, a grounded place of, I'm doing this for a reason, if you yeah. just let me explain it. And you kind of get the reason. Yeah. You're like, oh, I could, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. I mean, it was like Bishop season one, where you're like, I remember we got to a point in season one where, where, where we were all kind of like, but wait, isn't, yeah. isn't Bishop right? Yeah, remember we <laughs> asked you, we, we actually had to ask the writers, yeah. we're like, I think we probably need a line where Bishop's trying to take over the world or yeah, something. Because so like we're, we're yeah. way he no, he did. Yeah. Well, the way that, that was so Mark was playing it, really. yeah, you're like, I'm actually on board with this guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what's, why, you know, we felt that too. That's why the episode that we have the flashback in the '50s when yeah. you see Bishop kill his girlfriend right. in the writers' room, we were like, we gotta do some here, guys, because he seems fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a big deal. Well, and, and you did it. You did it cleverly, where the the Dutch Aiden's standing on the Bishop's side, and the Dutch guy Hegeman. Uh, Terry Kinney, wonderful actor. Oh, God, he was so awesome. I miss Terry. Yeah. I miss Terry a lot. Um, Terry says, well, what, what the, what's your plan? If they, you think they're just going to let you walk all over them, they're going to resist. I mean, what happens then? He goes, you, you, what, you're going to enslave them? And he goes, well, if I have to. And, and, that, and that's the point where Aiden goes, whoa, 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 hey, whoa. Yeah, right. Yeah. Whoa. Kristen Hagerman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it was the, the, this was the model of uh, yeah they were like role. let's make a character off of Kristen Hager as a person yeah. <laughs> just like how Donna was the bishop model yeah, yeah. Hagerman yeah. is Hagerman the was, Kristen yeah. Hager model well, right <laughs> primarily the hair and the uh, goatee yeah. and Phys that physically they really physically, wanted to nail it you know? yeah and that the Sally Twins. character is based Twins. off of Jesse Rath mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Aaron we're gonna give you the last question okay just I mean on set uh, what are some of your favorite effects like in your various spaces like uh books props little things that you personally like oh outside. well i think we i can speak yeah, for everyone when we say dog the cat man do there he is yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's practically he's a, a big star on the, on the set tour did you yeah, yeah you guys yeah. saw him you saw he's dog amazing yeah. isn't he amazing he is there's some incredible movie. fan art happening right now of yeah. dog yeah it's like some yeah. really yeah. amazing t-shirts i should have my t-shirt today t-shirts we got some really incredible oh, fan art of the guy I don't know. And also, he's so account. weird. Account. His dog himself is the weirdest little little thing. He's and it, all, it all started with here's here's how it started. You guys have probably heard this story before, but the whole time when he made his entrance, we were all like, "Wow, he's this weird looking dog there, huh?" Like because he had a catcher's mask on. Weird catcher. Yeah, weird, weird sculpture. Dog. Like it's a weird dog. What's it like supposed to be? Dog? Is it a garden no, gnome? Cat. No, I said no. It's a cat. Well, I said I, you guys. I, 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 Without knowing you said that, I also, said on my cat. own time, when someone asked me, said, soon as, you take, as soon as you take the mask off, it's right there. He's no, a cat. He's, but he's, he's huge. Cat. And he's got so, also a crown. But now he's got a crown. He's the king of kings. He didn't have the crown, and then someone, someone <laughs> in the art department crowned him. Crowned him. <laughs> well, he was anointed yeah. king. But then, but then we were like, well, he's a dog, but he's a cat, but he's also kind of a man. He's like, but he's a dude. But he's a dude. He's just so. one of the dudes. So he's basically he's hot, half dog, yeah. 
half man, half cat, but all, all dude. dude. <laughs> Three halves of the same yeah. dude. Yeah. Um, There's also <clears throat> another one we like is I don't know if you guys saw the wheel. You might not have seen oh, the, the, oh, the, wheel. the wheel. Right so by the stairs. Yeah. Busted deal face the wheel. By Sally's dead spot is is a wheel on the wall. Like by the landing. And it's the it's all you know you spin it and you there's numbers. Like roulette. But, but the yeah. numbers are all out of order. So really, the, the game for the entire crew is we all just stand there in front of it guessing numbers. And just say numbers. And Except for the fact you know the, it's it's not great for your work because you know you're picking one number and you're spinning it and hoping it lands on that. And every time she's wrong, which will be most of the time, she gets very very upset. I've never gone. Oh, I think we should like, probably say who here has gotten got it the it, most. Uh, all right, fine. Kristen and listen it's, it's two times it, it was two times within like a half an hour within like six minutes it was unbelievable yeah. it, it, take, it took me years She's to get like, one I've never gotten one yeah never gotten one oh. Wilbur's never gotten one either I don't try I've gotten it twice you really don't you're a you party pooper no I'm above it yeah but it was, it was a, I got one last season and one this season but I do it all the time it's a numbers game, literally. <laughs> oh God, sometimes me, you know. Sometimes I get one. Sometimes. Good. Well, we could sit here all day. I'm, I'm sorry that they're not on their game today. <laughs> quiet. But um, thank you guys. Thanks for an amazing um, uh, show. You guys are amazing together, and this is why. Um, and thank you all for uh, being here for the tour. So we're going to move on, right? Thanks, right. Mark. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.